Now we will discuss about distance and displacement. What is distance? It is the total actual path covered. Displacement, it is the shortest path covered between the starting and the ending point. Distances, for example, see I have drawn one example for you over here. If you are moving from your home to your school and you are moving in a zigzag order, 2 kilometers, then 3, then 3 again and 2 kilometers. So the total distance covered 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 again will give you the distance. That is 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 10 kilometers. You have moved a total distance of 10 kilometers from your home to your school. Displacement. Displacement is the shortest path which you have covered between the final and the initial that is initial position over here home and school the final position means from where you have started from and the final position where you have reached the smallest or the shortest route which you have covered so your distance will be 10 kilometer and how much you have been displaced from your initial to your final position will be your displacement so your displacement over here is suppose say 6 kilometer now as distance is a scalar quantity you need not give direction with this but displacement is a vector quantity so you have to give the direction also with it like 6 kilometer a to b means you have moved from a to b now here we have the differences view between this c Distance, it is a scalar quantity. Displacement, it is, a, it is a vector quantity. Distance, it can be given any quantity like 5 meter, 6 meter, 7 meter, how much you have been displaced. But with displacement, you have to add the direction also 5 meter towards north. Distance can never be 0, but displacement can be 0. If you have moved from one position, you have, suppose a circle, you have moved through a circle and come back to the initial point then the total displacement will be zero as your initial and final position is zero from where you have moved you have reached the same point so displacement will be zero the SI unit for both of them will be same that is meter only now next we are coming to the numerical for distance and displacement let us see a car moves 100 meter due east and then 25 meter due west. What is the distance covered by the car and what is its displacement? See, according to the numerical, we have taken this to be the initial, the starting position. And the direction east and west we have taken. So, a body moves from here, from the original position towards east 100 meters. It has been displaced from its initial position okay now they say again it moves towards the best 25 meters so what will be the distance distance will be 100 plus 25 total path covered that is 125 meter and displacement will be how much it has been displaced from its original position this is the origin position and 25 meter it has come back also so 100 minus 25 it is 75 meters 100 minus 25 75 meter towards east why towards it means it is from its original position it is towards east so it is 75 meter due east now seeing the second numerical see we have a square plot over here a body is a person is moving from a to b b to c c to d and again back to a so what will be the distance covered distance covered will be the total perimeter of this plot that is 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, 40 meter. And what will be the displacement as it has come back to the initial position after moving along the boundary. So, there will be no displacement. The body has come back from where it has moved. So, displacement will be 0. This is distance 40 meters and this is displacement 0 meter. Here is the assignment for you people. I have given you a few numericals to do. The first one is 
in what condition is the distance covered equal to the magnitude of the displacement of a particle the second one an object moves 4 meter towards east and then 3 meters towards north find the displacement draw the directions and then you can do the numerical remember displacement is the shortest path then third one is an object moves in a circular path of radius 4 7 meters find out distance and displacement after one complete revolution and one and a half revolution again draw the diagram and then do then the fourth one length of a minute hand of wall clock is 14 cm find the distance and displacement after first is 60 minutes then 30 minutes 15 minutes and 10 minutes after every 60 minute how much distance and displacement it will cover 30 minutes 15 minutes 10 minutes draw again draw a clock and then you can easily do the numerical so children please try these numericals and in the next series we'll be coming up with speed and velocity